Welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, so today I'm going to be demonstrating a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the Hold Me Down Adhesive Sport. I'm also going to be showing you guys my brand new techniques. So without further ado, the directions say, for maximum sport performance, place the adhesive in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. Y'all already know, you have to have a flat foundation in order to have a flat install. Make sure you do your braid as flat as possible. Go ahead and slick those edges back. You see how that liquid milk got my edges slick? They're not going nowhere. Taking care of your skin and your hair underneath your wigs is very important. Before you apply your ball cap, you want to clean your skin off. You can use 91% alcohol or witch hazel. Then you're going to go in with the Hold Me Down Adhesive Skin Guard. If you didn't know why the skin guard is so important, let me explain it to you. It's going to prep and prime and disinfect your skin before you apply your adhesive. It's also going to create a barrier in between your skin and the adhesive, which is going to protect your skin. The skin guard also has waterproof and sweatproof properties, which is going to help you if you're going to be in either one of these scenarios. For your ball cap, you're going to start to trace your hairline. You're not going to put the glue directly on your hair. You're going to go right above your hairline. If you did it right, once you start to cut your cap off, it's going to be so seamless, just like this. In the back of the cap, I did sew it down with a needle and thread, cut the rest off, and proceeded to the next step. You want to go in with the makeup shade that is a little bit darker than your actual skin tone. The exact skin tone can come out too light on the lace and on your hairline. I got this from my local beauty supply store and I'm pretty sure all beauty supply stores sell them. I recommend this brand particularly over any other brand. After that's all done, you're going to get your adhesive out the fridge and let's get ready for the application. It has an on and off switch, so make sure you switch it to the on setting. Go ahead and squeeze and start to apply your adhesive. Once you lay your wig down, you can go ahead and take an elastic band, wrap it down, and you're going to blow dry on warm to heat, whatever is comfortable for you, and as long as you're not sweating underneath there. Cleaning your brush is really, really simple. You're gonna go ahead and turn it to the off setting. Make sure it's turned off. Because if you don't if you don't turn it off and you put it inside of the alcohol and the alcohol gets inside of the adhesive, unfortunately, it's gonna ruin the properties of the adhesive and it's not gonna work and it's not gonna stick anymore. So far, so good. Everything's going smooth. Very, very soon, I'm also going to be dropping a step-by-step -step on how to properly bleach your knots and how to properly fix any mistakes you may have made while you're bleaching your knots. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a few minutes. In simple terms, melting your lace is just like when you go get your nails done and they put that top shiny coat at the end. Yes, that's exactly what that is. As you can see, the lace is not going nowhere, nowhere. 
and pretty much if you're not a baby hair kind of person you can just end this video right here like you can just finish styling your hair however you see fit and that's that but if you like your baby hair continue to watch this video During this process, I'm not going to be doing much talking because it's literally like you're just going to be following my steps. It's not really much that I can explain. It's more visual and more of you following along. This process is honestly pretty lengthy and I kept this very, very honest because a lot of people think that baby hair gets done in like 2.5 seconds and that's not how that goes. It's very, very time consuming and it's also different techniques and different ways. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you the current and the easiest way that you can do baby hair, especially if you're a beginner and you really don't have much knowledge on how to do baby hair. There's three different ways that you can do baby hair, which will be with styling foam, my absolute favorite, but it's not that beginner friendly because it's a lot of, like that's for another day. Then you can use holding spray, which I'm gonna be using in this video, and you can use gel. There's three different ways to do it, three different looks, three different techniques, and it just really depends on your style or your client style and how you want your baby hair to look. Once I curl the baby hair, I'm gonna go and just try to form them, start forming them and see how they're gonna potentially look. I really don't like super big or long baby hair, so I'm gonna start to pluck. Plucking it is gonna make it, of course, thinner. And then once you use the razor to shave it down, you're just gonna make them shorter. So if you don't like thick baby hair, you're gonna have to pluck it, go in and shave it down because it's not gonna be a one-two like, oh, I cut it, boom, they're perfect. No, it's like a tedious process. You have to keep practicing, keep forming them, and just keep figuring it out until you get the results that you like. y'all starting to look like somebody now y'all starting to look right and proper and appropriate my next video is going to be showing you guys how to properly bleach your knots to avoid this root touch up color fixing process but the easiest way to fix it is going to be with some temporary color spray
after that your style is pretty much complete if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below Thank you.